iOS 11.1 Beta 2 brings back a much loved feature. This release is arguably headlined by hundreds of new emoji characters. So you're gonna find characters like this, the mind blown emoji, and you'll find another one of my favorites, the monocle emoji, which is right here. There's even the starry eye emoji. I love that. These are all new emoji from Unicode 10. So there are literally hundreds of new emoji characters found in iOS 11.1 beta 2. So when you get your hands on the beta, make sure you scroll through here, find all the new emoji and let me know which one is your favorite. And in this beta, reachability has been fixed so that it's no longer overlapping the dock while on the home screen. And you'll also find a few new settings in the emergency SOS section of the preferences. Basically, you can now press and hold the side button, which is formerly the sleep or power button, and either volume button to make an emergency call. And it also still works, the side button that is, works with the five clicks, you can enable or disable that. And there's also a countdown sound that you can enable or disable as well. So when you press and hold the side button and the volume button, and then finally, a lot of people were very upset when Apple removed the 3D touch multitasking gesture from iOS 11. Now in iOS 11.1 beta 2, that feature is back for iOS devices that support 3D touch. And as you can see here, it can be used to quickly switch between two apps back to back. Or if you press deeper, you can invoke the full multitasking app switcher, just like that. To be honest, I really didn't use 3D touch multitasking gestures in the past because I just found it too difficult to invoke consistently. Now it seems to be much more consistent and that animation is much smoother this time around. I can see myself using this on a regular basis. So understandably, a lot of people were extremely upset at Apple when they removed this feature, but now that it's back, I think you're gonna really like it. Not only is it easy to invoke, but the animation is just that much better. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.